Next one on the board here, Nevada 23, New Mexico State 12. A lot of people were riding on New Mexico State because of the coaching mismatch, etc. And I said on on the U.S. College Football Show to be careful with this because that New Mexico State roster is awful. And I understand that Nevada's is not great, but you could see a significant talent advantage even with all the players that the Wolfpack lost, right? You could see it. I mean, it was just clear as day. We'll go ahead and look at some of the stats here. Uh, Looking at offensive yards per play, New Mexico State 5.58 to only 4.3 for Nevada. I mean, that's just brutal. 318 uh, total yards on offense to only 288. Uh, But look, they could not figure out the quarterback position for New Mexico State. Uh, Gavin Freaks was the freshman quarterback that came in and looked pretty good, but they don't have any receivers. They couldn't catch the ball. It was brutal to watch. Five turnovers for the Aggies to only one for Nevada, and that was the that was the difference in the ball game. Uh, third down tries, it was forty seven percent to forty one percent, whatever. Uh, fourth down tries, blah. Scoring opportunities, both of them had six. The question or the difference there is Nevada was able to finish more drives, three point eight three points per scoring opportunity to only one point six seven for New Mexico State. Um, the field position wasn't vastly different. I mean, an average of four yards better for Nevada. They started on their own 31, usually, uh, to the 27 for New Mexico State. Uh, but looking at this, you know, Nevada's passing game, just brutal. 14 out of 23 for only 78 yards between Nate Cox and Shane Illing, uh, Illingsworth. Um, that ain't going to cut it in the Mountain West. It'll cut it against New Mexico State. But, geez, uh, they did have 45 rushes for 179 yards. That's where you saw the talent advantage. But for Nevada, uh, I have been screaming from the mountaintops to take the under ever since that thing was at, like, 5.5. I bet it at 5.5. I bet it at 5. I bet it at 4.5. Uh, I did not bet it at 4. But that's where it sits currently, from what I understand. I, I don't know that you can get it anymore. But, man, this is a team that a lot of people are going to be uh, betting against. But New Mexico State, this is what they're going to do. They're going to shorten games. They're going to run as much clock as humanly possible, do their best to keep themselves in ball games. But it is going to take a long time, a very long time, for them to get any semblance of an FBS roster. Uh, but Jerry Kill knows what he's doing. Like he's, he's a good head coach, and he will build that thing up the right way, uh, from what I can tell. Anyway. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.